All right, so you guys ready for uh, to get these guys into combined mode? Uh, check out the Predaking. I think you are. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video, would you? Hmm. I don't know. Would you guys watch it if you didn't want to watch it? I'm just being really weird tonight. <laughs> I'm just really happy. I'm excited. Excited. All right. Let's move these guys to the back. And I know I've shown off how to, to combine these guys before. Um, or, you know, shown you like uh, how to transform them into limb mode. But I'll show it off again. Now, the swords, they don't combine to anything, so just set these things off and just don't lose them. So, um, pull the head out here, like so. Put that in. This will fold back in how it was, just like so. Nothing too spectacular there. Um, you want to flip open the arms, flip down the feet. Like so. And then what you do is uh, flip these pieces down like so. This tail piece will come up and over like so. I, I do need to figure out how to tighten this. This is really loose. I think it's just a screw, but I'll have to take the leg apart to do it. So that'll be another project for another day. But in case you see it flopping, uh, I am aware of it. I'm not overlooking it, but uh, for now, there's nothing I can do. Uh, rotate this around and then this will collapse in like so and then this piece will fold up and there's a little tab right here that will plug into that slot right there. And now I did leave the combined ports out from when I was testing it out earlier um, because some of these things are just such a pain to get out so i am just <laughs> you're gonna need a screwdriver so rotate this around, collapse it in, like so, and then this will come up and lock into place. And then you take the hand, and he's left-handed, so, and you just, there's two little ports on there. There's a slot there, and a slot there, so you just port that in right there. And then this piece will pour it in on the same side on the other side and you just lock the legs together, give it a good push. And there you have combined mode. Um, I like to, uh, for mine, uh, because this one's loose, I want to turn it this way and then rotate the hand around. That way when you plug the big gun on this side it's a little tighter. That's me because of this. Um, I guess that's actually how you'd want to do it anyway. Uh, you can bend it that way, but this is the better way. Anyway, so there's the hand. Hulk. In combined mode. So we'll set that off to the side. And then we'll take dive bomb here. Again, just take the sword out. Set that aside. Take the gun off. Set that to the side. Flip in the arms. They just kind of flip up. And then take the wings off and just kind of very gently get them off so that those little pegs don't break off. And then you rotate. You grab it by the tail. Rotate it all the way around. Flip the head down. And then you can flip the arms up. Collapse them in like so. Flip up the feet, and then you take it like so. And again, you take the hand, plug it into one side. Like that. Put this in to the other side. Like that. And there you have another arm. All ready to go. So 
not the most difficult of combiners thus far. Now, real quick, um, I'll show this off real quick, but I'm not actually going to utilize it. But on the big wings here, you can take uh, dive bombs wings and plug them into this little port right here through that. Just kind of give that a push and then you can just kind of like helps fill in the wings a little bit even more than they were. That actually doesn't look bad. Maybe I will do that. Push. And then we'll come back to those wings later on. Next up, we'll do him. Sword out. Gun over here. Slide these pieces forward on both arms. Flip the head up like this and rotate it around. Just flip it up like so. And then you want to take the port on the back. Push it all the way the rest of the oh man, rest of the way up. And this whole assembly kind of collapses together pegs together and then you take there's a little slot in here that goes into this little hole right here and you just kind of peg that in pull the leg around and you just kind of rotate it and kind of keep it out of the way on the back there just like that do the same thing over here so just up like so collapse together comes down hold this in keep these things right there you fold up the feet and then I like to um, put one piece in and then you take the other one and wedge that in and then and then plug them together um, they're really, really tough to to plug together and then plug into the waist. But if you do it that way, it just it works a lot easier. Um, so he's left foot. So make sure you get the one that's the left foot. And the way you can tell is, you know, it does it open because this is how it will open to that side. And again, these things do light up, but we aren't really going to be doing that. So, and you just take this, plug it in like so, and there you have a foot. Whew. You guys getting tired yet? All right, sword out, gun out, and just uh, pull the feet up. Same thing on this guy. Um, you want to move these little side pieces out first, but just one at a time. And then these arms, you just kind of unfold them and rotate and unfold and collapse and just kind of like that and then there's a little peg in there that goes into the slot there and these pieces come down they just peg into the legs so you just pull this out 
rotate it like that and then you can collapse it together like so like so fold those down these will oh, fold this up and then you want to move connect fit up and then you fold this down like so and down like so take the other foot plug it in there again everything lights up all peach king And now we go to Razor Claw. Take the sword out. Take the gun off. Now, um, you have a couple options here. Um, you can you can port these arms right onto these cannons, but you don't have to. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't like that look when they first showed it off. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that either. But they did give you another option. So you wanted to pull these cannons off. And these connector ports, the first time you use them, <laughs> they are tight. Alright, so. You want to uh, pull the arm out here and you want to fold the hand up without folding the foot up and it just kind of stays where it was and then you can collapse the arm like so and do the same thing over here just collapses in just collapses in there we go arm, fold the feet up, and then what you want to do here is pull the head out, rotate it around, and then you pull the waist all the way down, and you fold this up. Now the instructions, now this is where uh, you should really pay attention to my review. Um, I, well, I don't, I, I don't know why I said it like my review, like other people review uh, that are reviewing this guy don't know what they're talking about. I'm sure they will. Um, what I mean is if you go off the instruction, you're going to sit there and go, what the hell am I doing? Because they really, really do not show, um, this next bit off very well. Um, um. As you can see right here, on this piece right here, it just says, just flop it on. Um, that is not the case at all. Do not listen to that. You will sit there and just get so frustrated. It does not lock in like that at all. So, what do you want to do? Because the way the picture makes it looks is you take these two pieces here and... You just kind of somehow are supposed to slot this over the whole thing, but there's no room for the waist. Um, so I thought it was going this way, and I tried and I tried and I tried, and it just would not work because I was going off of the instructions. This is the back piece. This is the front piece. It it connects like this around the waist. So. <laughs> What you want to do, and, and technically, you know, if you wanted, you could collapse this in, and you can combine them without those pieces. They're not necessary for the transformation. Um, you know, they make it look better, but you don't necessarily need them. Just to let you know. So you take this piece here, and you pull, put it on through the back, and slide it all the way down. 
and you want to move this line main up and out of the way don't lock this stuff into place yet you know that's another thing the instructions say is lock it all into place as you go and you don't want to because you want that mobility so pull this down as far as it will go and then you take this piece here and these two slot or these two uh, sections here right here and here will wedge right into this piece and there's a little port right here that this tiny little peg will plug into I, I sat there and looked at it and I was like really that's all that's gonna hold this on but it's not so don't worry about that so you just kind of wedge that in there takes a little finesse to get it in there and it is tight it is a very tight fit and that's one of the things that holds it into place is friction but once you get it in there you slide it all the way in and as you can see it it holds very well just from friction so it's, it's a very good fit kind of fold those armor down then you take this piece and there's these two little slots that are right in here they'll pour it into these little holes here and you just plug that in together and the line main by plugging that in will also double secure this piece then you take the arms and you collapse them into the body and as you do that there's a peg right here they'll go into this little hole right here so just gotta get it in there just right pegs in and do the same thing over here give it a good push and pause the video for a second all right and now let's start putting this bad boy together so you want to take these wings here and there's a plug here and a port here they'll plug into this plug here and this port there and there's two little slots on the back of the arms here that will pour, snap onto those so you just take this and line everything up and just give it a good push and voila you have the wings great wings big big wings so you pull this up angle these things how you want to you know i i don't like that look i don't like that look at all So, fold these up, like so, and there you got the whole wing assembly. Now, these feathers are individually articulated, and these little blades are also individually articulated, and they are sharp, so watch out. Um, they could poke your eye out, kid. Um, and you can flay them out however you want to. I personally like the look of uh, this one piece solid wing look. And just set him back here for a moment. Now let's combine the gun. What you want to do is plug this piece. One of these is a rounded hole, one of these is a square hole. So you find the rounded hole, so you plug that in like so. This one's got the square hole, so you plug that in like so. Take the gun, like so, and like so. That cannon just kind of slid right out. There you go. 
We're looking at Orion now. There we go. And you can also extend these cannons out. Like so. And then there's little tabs back here. Just pull these out. These are going to be the secondary ports for these things. So pull these out. And, and I like to wait to put these things on because... It takes a lot of fiddling to get all these pieces together. So, pull that up because it's gonna take up a lot of space here. So let's start with the arms. Um, dive bomb is the one that I have the hardest time because this connector bit is is looser and it's just kind of hard to get them in there. Um, but you just kind of. <sighs> I'll do this one off screen just because he's so hard to get in there. there go. Just like that. Take Rampage. And just... See, he's a lot easier. But Dive Bomb, because that joint is loose, it's hard to keep him, you know, put as much pressure needed to put it into the port, you know. You know what I mean? Uh, sure, why not? Of course you guys do, right? All right. Now this part's pretty simple. Just port right there and there. And they just kind of port into here. Like that. Yeah, you guys can see that pretty good. All right, so on the back here, on these wings, there's these little ports right there and these little plugs at the end of the cannon just plug right into there. And you can do the same thing on the other side. And then plug on the end of the cannon, just plugs into the side of Rampage here. And you take his big, big sword. And that plugs in right here. And you wrap his fingers around it to give him a little extra support. So, <laughs> and last but not least, the Predaking head, and that just uh, there's two little tabs there, here and here, and there's two little ports where his uh, robot head was, and you just plug it in, and there you go. After all this time, Unique Toys, Predaking, all ready and souped up for combat. Um, size comparison. There he is next to the Seeker Mold. Um, as you can see, definitely, definitely bigger. Um, I love the proportions on this guy. I think he's amazing. Um, He's not super bulky like the G1 Predator King was. Um, he's more sleek. Um, now, posability. Um, cannons can rotate a little bit, um, but they're on those little pegs, so you don't want to do too much. If you have it in, in between the arms, then you're going to be fine. Um, head is on a... Uh, there's a swivel up down. I don't even know if you guys can see me because I'm so far away. Um, head is on a swivel, up, down, left, right, um, great range of motion there. Um, shoulder, up, down, 
it's a little hindered because of uh, Rampage's shoulder cans here. Um, bicep swivel, double bend at the elbow, uh, hand is on a ball joint, uh, thumb's got one, two, three different points of articulation. Each finger is on a ball joint and then they have two hinges on each. Uh, nothing at the waist. Now I should, um, as I said, uh, he's got a forward bend on the knee for the razor claw, but that's so that uh, you can have a forward bend on the leg for predicate. So there's that. It does ro uh, does swivel? Uh, bends at the knee. There is a there is a, a swivel at the knee. Foot is on a pivot. Um, you can also, you know, move the uh, toes up and down. Uh, the whole foot can pivot back, so like you can be walking if you wanted to. Um, and then the back heel is on a swivel. Wings can go uh, forward and back, up, down. There's a nice solid ratchet back there, and like I said, each one of the feathers are articulated. So, really good range of motion. Um, you can pose this guy however you can imagine. Um, let's see, is he still? Yeah, he's still in. So we're gonna move him as far over as we can. Uh, so we can do some size comparisons with some other combinders. Uh, pretty much every combiner I have, we're gonna go through the ranks. Um, so here he is next to G1 Predaking. If I can keep them together. So here he is next to the G1 Predaking. And um, full head taller. Um, proportions are just way more in line and the wings are just so much more impressive um, and his shoulder cannons are also more impressive I mean he's got those that's all he got um, he's got this little sword he's got a cleaver um, so tops him no no question there uh, Let's see here. Here we got the uh, Fans Project Bruticus. So again, he's he's significantly taller than Bruticus there. So definitely, definitely more in the Predaking where Predaking should be. to the uh, false Cybertron Bruticus. Again, much bigger than him. Much bigger. Next to the uh, Make Toys Giant Devastator. Still, he's about a head taller than him, so that's pretty. Still, pretty awesome. Again, about where it should be. Here he is next to the uh, Platinum Omega Supreme. He's about a head shorter than Omega Supreme. Um, which, again, is just about right. And... Last... 
just because he's sitting right here. Here he's next to <laughs> Metroplex. Um, and Metroplex still dwarfs him. So, all in all, great combiner. I think he looks awesome. Um, definitely, he was definitely my pick. Um, he does have his flaws. Um, um, yeah, there, there's some issues. The figures got improved on as they went. Um, I wish the cannons would lock in a little bit better. Um, yeah. Um, I, I mean, you know, I know a lot of people are not going to like him. So, I mean, what can you do? I can't force you guys to like him. I love him. I think he's awesome. He's going to be the center of my Decepticon combiner shelf. Um, yeah, he, there are some issues that need to be fixed on him, but that's just... That's just the way it is. I mean, everybody needs a little fixing now and then. Especially third-party figures. Um, uh, I mean, and if you say, oh, not the Mastermind Creation, guys. Look at Bo Bovis and Forge's elbow issue. Um, anyway. Anyway. Uh, rating on this guy. Um, I, I, I give the Warlord, a.k.a. Predaking, 10 out of 10. I think he looks amazing. Very happy I got him. Um, I'm just blown away by him, by his size, his, you know, how how the fact that Razor Claw looks about the size of G1 Razor Claw. The other four are significantly smaller, and yet the combined mode is bigger than the G1 Predaking. It, it it just it's impressive how they were able to do that. And yes, I know they cheated with the wings and, you know, and by not combining it, but I think, I think if they would try to add it all in, I mean, we've seen Mass Rank Creation's Razor Claw and TFC Razor Claw, and I think those figures look like they're covered in junk. Um, just because there's so much stuff going on with them. Uh, so, but that's me. That's me. That's not you. You guys might like that. I like this guy. So, question of the day is, what do you guys think of the uh, Unique Toys Predaking? Now that we have, now that I've shown him in all his glory, and and yeah, um, that's question of the day. Um, and then we'll go back to our regular scheduled program. This was just what. Oh, got it in the mail. Got to get him out. Got to get the review out as quickly as I can. So, Unique Toys, Warlord, a.k.a. Freddy King.